This is the part 2 of the video classification tutorial. In the part 1 we have seen that how we can get the PyTorch video framework and how we can utilize it, how we can create the data frame from our data. We have also seen that what is the base accuracy which is 88.2% for this data set. We also got the data set from Kaggle and now it's the time to create our data loader which will utilize this data frame. But before that, we need to create the augmentation process so that we can use that augmentation process in our data loader. So for that, I have to utilize some of the libraries which I am going to import right now. These are the libraries which I am going to use for let's go them one by one. Label video data set is actually create our data set, basically our data loader, make clip sampler. Actually, it will create clip from our data set. For example, I have a video of 10 seconds, but I decide to create a clip for 2 seconds or 3 seconds. This make clip sampler function will create the video clips. Then from the PyTorch video to transform, I am going to use apply transform to key. Actually, my data loader return different keys such as audio key, video key, video name key. And we have to decide on which key, which key we have to apply the augmentation. So this function will help us to apply the augmentation on the video key. Then we are going to normalize. This is the same thing as we are doing the imaging, image classification, random short side scale. Our video can have different size. You have to decide which one is the shorter side, its width or length. And then we have to scale according to the given size. Then we have uniform temporal subsample. Let's say in one second we got 30 frames which means that our frame per second is 30. So in 2 seconds we got 60 frames and in 3 seconds we got 90 frames. But for classification we do not need all of this data. So we can decide that let's say if we use 3 second video we only need 30 frames which means that in 1 second we are going to have 10 frames. So uniform temporal subsample will decide that. Permutation will help if you want to use other augmentation. Then from torch vision dot transform we will use compose which will help to compose different augmentation technique, lambda function which help to do some other task and then random crop to crop the images and horizontal flip. We have also resizing functionality. We can also use center crop video instead of random crop and we have another function which is normalize video. It's up to us whether we want to use normalize video or normalize. So let's go to the implementation of this augmentation. So let me create a variable video transform. And I am going to create use compose. Apply transform to key because our key is video. So I am going to apply it only on video. Otherwise it will try to apply it. otherwise it will try to apply it on label, audio and other keys also, but we want to apply it only on video. Next I am going to define another variable transform equal to compose and in this compose section I am going to define my augmentation. The first one is uniform temporal subsample. I am going to use a subsample of let's say 20 video. No matter how much length I choose, the number of frame will be 20. Next, I am going to use lambda. And I am going to utilize lambda functionality and divide every video by 55. Actually, this is also normalization, but according to the documentation of Partners video, we are going to utilize another normalization, which is according to ImageNet, and we are going to use 0 0.45, 0. This is the mean of my video, and now I am going to write the standard deviation of my video. My video. If you have uh, used Partners for some sort of image classification, you are familiar with this number. But in image classification, these numbers are somehow a bit different, but they are approximately similar. So after that, I am going to use random short scale video. 
and I'm going to define minimum size let's say as 248 maximum size as 256 after that I am going to do center crop video or let's say okay go for center crop video you can try random crop video and the size of video will be 224 and now I am going random horizontal field with a probability of 0 0.5 you can also use random vertical flip it's up to you okay valid syntax um let me see where we have issue okay here we go that the next thing i will do is to utilize this for that i am going to use label video data set which i can actually import here label video data set okay so my train data set is actually using this label video data set function the first or the first parameter it accepts that is the data frame I can pass training data frame or the validation data frame depending upon the situation next I am going to use clip sampler which is make clip sampler this will decide what is the size of my clip because I want to have all the clip in one batch having same size so that I do not get the shape error then I am going to define the clip mode actually clip promote is like for example if we have video of let's say 0 to 10 seconds and there are two clip mode one is random and other is uniform the random clip sampler will do that for example in 10 seconds it will randomly pick any two seconds for example for example i defined the video dot duration as two seconds the random clip sampler will do is that it will take any two seconds from this video but the uniform clip sampler will do is that it will first take the first two seconds that is 0 to 2 then next two seconds 0 2 to 4 then 4 to 6 actually random sampler will just use two seconds from this 10 second video and uniform sampler will utilize 10 seconds but in the form of two two second videos but it will take more time that's why I'm going to use random sampler and the video duration will be 2 seconds in this tutorial after that the I have a transform function the transform function is what we have defined earlier that is video transform and now I have the code audio equal to false because I'm not going to use the audio data in this tutorial after that I am going to utilize PyTorch data loader which let me import it so that we can utilize it from, from torch.utils so data import data loader and now i am going to import this data loader and now i am going to use this data loader so i am creating a loader which is actually utilizing data loader we have just imported then it will take train data set batch size equal to four number of worker equal to let's say zero in this case and pin memory equal to true actually i till this point i believe that you have seen the binary classification which is actually image classification and if you have seen that you are much familiar with my style of writing pytorch code and the how the pytorch code works now i am going to utilize that and next i have to create a batch by using iteration next iter and then i am going to use the loader okay let's see how much time it will take 
Okay, the first thing is let's say best dot keys. We have different key video, video name, video index, clip index, augmentation index, and label. This is the reason we have used apply transformation to key because I only want to apply transformation to this video key. So let's use this video key to get the data of the video and check the shape the shape of the label okay this is the shape 5 is the batch size 3 is the number of channel 20 is the number of frame 224 and 224 is the width and height the reason I got this 20 is that I have defined 20 here Let's say if I change it to 30, you can see that this time I got this 30 here. It do not depend upon this video duration. Let's say if I change it to 5, you can see that the 30 remains the same. So you have to keep this thing in mind. In the next section, we will see that in the next tutorial, we will see that how we can implement lightning module which we have seen in our previous tutorials and that will be super easy for you but we will utilize them in the next tutorial.